dismissal is eight countries long so we should be able to get even a pretty or even a half decent punch out of this hey guys I'm Rod the Fox and welcome back to From the Depths. This time now we should be able to finally add weapons to the Dreadnought because you guys had seen the last episode, the Dreadnought now actually flies. Which honestly still blows my mind. It's a fact that something that big and costs nearly one and a half million materials actually flies. Like what? Yep, up it goes. And the resource amount goes down rather slowly. And one thing I might actually do today with corresponding to the weapons is um, I might remove the uh, pitch thrusters I, I have here in the front and have them go, go across the middle here where the weapons are going to be going. So that way we have a more centralized area of pitch. But the rear is going to remain the same. So we're going to have this kind of like triangular effect of pitch. Now I have no idea if that will even work or not. But I think regardless it would be something to try. Now I've been thinking about how to place these missiles because yes I am going to be using the using two of these which is going to be ridiculous to say the least. And I'm going to be using four of these. So there's going to be a total of ten on this. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two of these in the middle. One here on the top and bottom. And then I'm going to have another two come off roughly probably around right here. Right where the uh, slope part uh, meets the... Uh, wait, I can't do that because the uh, thrusters are in the way. I think I need to come with a bit... Of a different idea. I think this spot right here should do. Yeah, this looks uh, rather nice and symmetrical. Thing is, even though this is 3x4, the actual launcher itself is offset. So in order for me to even have this close to being in the middle, I'll have to do this or this. But even then, it won't be exactly in the middle because this is a even height ship with a odd height missile. So I think I'll be able to work with something here and uh, have this look good. Alright guys, so I got the missiles built here and I even got the AI install which is back right here. I don't have a transmitter put on the main AI block itself, but I will be installing that did this uh, episode and this missile is eight countries long so we should be able to get even a pretty or even a half decent punch out of this because that's what i want i want this to be powerful because well as i mentioned in the previous episodes this is the last combat ship in the fleet it's going to need to create a big bang or else it's not going to exactly serve its purpose okay i got the wooden shell onto it now now for the metal. Got the metal layer on. Now for the heavy armor. Got the heavy armor layer on. Now for the metal. And it's one thing that I've been keeping a close eye on while I'm doing this. That's the altitude. Because I'm not 100% sure. But by the looks of it, I think we are slowly losing altitude. But at the same time, it seems like whatever altitude we do lose, we gain back. So that's something that I'll need to look into to make sure that all of this is done correctly. And I kind of figured that I would have to do some engine adjustments and even like some sort of adding anyway. But at the same time, I wasn't expecting for me to require it this uh, quickly. Because, well, there's still eight other large missiles that I need to add to this. So hopefully by the time I'm done, I don't need that many missiles. Got the two large missiles completed. Well, almost complete. I still have to uh, put on the front cap for this. But the main body itself is done. And I think I might know exactly what I'm going to do for a main or oh, for a cap for this. Hold on. Okay, I got these slope sections done, or at least the outer ones. 
and I want you guys to see on uh, what I potentially have in mind here because I think I have a design here that could work out well as long as I execute it correctly because what I'm thinking of doing is basically have a ring going around of each armor so like to be layered so like this one here would be the heavy armor this one here is the metal and it'll be metal again and I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do about the wood I might cover that up with metal or something I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think this could work out very well again if I do this correctly I honestly think this is starting to look really cool so far. And this won't exactly be aligned with the hatches themselves. Because the weird thing is, even though the main launcher itself is 3x4, this is 3x3. Okay guys, I got the front two large missiles uh, finished. And I think when, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to swap out the PID system that I have in here and swap out for my traditional card system. Because this currently right now is not working. I need something that works better. Because the cards that are in this are specifically made for this type of uh, AI system. So I think I'm going to go with that. I also need to place in a wireless transmitter while I'm in here because I got two cameras face out in front, one underneath each missile. I'll actually show you guys the next time we're out, out there just so it will be able to detect the uh, enemy properly. Now to remove all of these. Kind of like the uh, PID system, but I mean, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I mean, there's not really much more you can say about it, honestly. Now I'm putting in the aim point uh, selection and target prioritization. And now I'm going to put in this one, the bombing run aircraft AI, because the PID system, I noticed that the whole AI algorithms and stuff, it doesn't quite work properly because I keep on getting that error message saying that, uh, that the uh, aircraft can't fly properly. So this should be able to uh, work out a lot better because this what, because that's exactly what this is. This isn't a plane, this isn't a boat or anything like that. This is a hovercraft. So like I said, hopefully this should work. I just need to add more processing uh, cards because, well, I'm going to be adding a lot more cameras to this, more so just the front because I need to make sure that all sides are covered. Okay, uh, total processing power 9, detection GPP uh, needed 6. I don't know why it's still saying that it's uh, not flying correctly. All right, uh, I configured the AI a little bit more. I still don't know why that's coming up, but now we got the main two of the missiles installed. And I think what I'm going to do next time, I'm going to install the rest of the missiles because the rest of the missiles are going to be a bit easier to put in. I'm also going to uh, configure the uh, sources around. Is, uh, well, I will keep going, but right now I'm out of time. So, raise the like button from the depths if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, ring the bell if you guys want to see more stuff like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys. Should be able to get this aircraft finished soon, hopefully.